But what is very exciting for me is when you press this button. Now, this is the drop-down for image guidance. Image guidance is how you can have influence on the output that you're trying to create. So if you wanted to have... Um, we could Jesse, start. Yeah. sorry to interrupt for one second. We did have a request for a chipmunk eating chips. <laughs> um, I don't know if you'll get around to it right now, but... Um, cool. A later, oh, yeah, a later point go. in the stream, you want to um, you want to work that out. <laughs> I have got we've got a seahorse with butterfly wings, cucumber dancing on the moon, black cat with a top hat. Oh my gosh, cool guys. <laughs> um, um, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so um, let's. I'll, show, I'll run you through this, and then we can get into our next step. Okay. Cool. So image guidance. This is what I believe is the like creme de la creme of Leo. It's the best, the best part of it for me um, is character reference, style reference, um, and content reference. I love these. So just to quickly explain what each of these, these, these features do. So character reference, I hope is quite self-explanatory. This is, we've just released it to the public. I can't wait for this to come out. This is going to be so, so helpful. Um, and it's being able to take the, the likeness of a character and being able to use them again and again and again um, across a series of, of different imagery. Um, so as just a quick example, I can show you some work that I was doing um, of my own face. Oh, let me get you some of the good ones. Um, so this was like using my I don't know if you can tell, it looks like me. Um, yeah, so using my face to be able to create these like marble statues um, for a previous uh, workflow that we worked on and being able to create this like beautiful diverse series, um, different poses was using a character reference element, um, but really maintaining that personalized consistency throughout. Um, beyond that, we have, um, this is a character called Lily, um, we were my friend, so this was using the same character, but across a whole bunch of different styles. Um, so for like advertising or marketing um, and being able to make sure there was consistency in in her across all of these different like photography styles um, and color grades. So I think if you can really get in with the character reference, this is going to be so helpful to um, yeah your different styles and different workflows. For people who are more interested in filmmaking, um, definitely like having be able to have that character consistency across shots and so if you wanted like a daytime shot or a nighttime shot um it really is quite special that yeah that's able to transfer across so that all sits in here under character reference now we also have style reference so if you have created um yeah created just like a particular style that has maybe like big bright colors and you want to create a photo shoot that also relates or say you've got for example we've got the Leonardo brand like Leonardo's got a beautiful colorful logo like how can we reference the style of our of our brand and, and use that across creating imagery so that's going to be style reference um content reference looks at what is in the image so if you're into like um this one's an architecture example so um if there's a particular scene that you want to maintain the content if perhaps you have somebody a model holding a handbag or something like that and you want to be able to keep keep the model holding the handbag as your content but be able to apply a different style that's kind of um where we use these in response uh text to image like if you've got a logo we can do that edge to image is great for logos as well post image so if there's a particular pose um and then image to image that's like being able to shake it into a different space so this is incredibly important um for where where we can be making work so if we want to do, for example, um, I'm going to do a character reference. I'm going to use myself. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to, and then you have a, this little arrow. It shows you the strength of how much it's influenced by. I personally think mid's quite good um, because it gives you a bit more freedom to uh, lean into the creative, like let the system influence a few things. Um, I am going to do content reference of, this is a little character that I made the other day. We can make one similar. Um, and so it's going to look at the, the shape of that. And then I'm going to add a star reference. I actually quite like the colors in this image. So I might keep the same style reference. Um, maybe make it high. I'm going to say um, a, da, 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 a cute evil character for a um, animated movie. I don't know. Let's have a look at that. Okay. So... We've set that up. Now, as I said, I wanted this to be 3D. So I'm going to go into one of our different formats. Maybe uh, I might 
I might do 3D, let's have a look. Uh, a game concept. Hmm. Maybe we'll go into here. Of design 3D. Uh, I'm going to do 3D render. Okay, so set that great. And we'll run that through. Um, I'm going to use our improved prompt just because that isn't too detailed. So let's have a look at what we can do to improve it. So a mischievously charming uh, figure, adorable. Let's have a look. Have a look how this goes. Okay, cool. And she's going to be rendering out. I realize I put the dimensions wrong for my thing, but um, that is, if you can tell, that's kind of got the first, the cheekiness-ish of my face. I use character reference. Um,